This is how annual headline and core inflation looked like in April 2012. Annual headline declined from 21.1% in March to 20.3% in April, while annual core declined from 23.6% to 22.8% in the same period. Though declining, the margins are very small, resulting from what economists call sticky. When it came to the month, when it came to the monthly inflation, both inflations rose by more than 1%. At the heart of the sticky high prices is food, starting with matoke. Irish potatoes, onions, pineapples, passion fruits, beans, ground nuts, maize flour, rice and milk. Indeed, the numbers reflect a general persistence of prices, with the items you buy remaining expensive. This feeds uncertainty in the economy. It comes from uh, expectations actually, mainly. For instance, when we see fuel pump prices going down, and all of a sudden the world prices go up, then even if it has not yet been transmitted through to the domestic economy, the actors will not reduce. If you just wait by the numbers, inflation is reducing. But if you have to consider the dynamics in your pocket, there is virtually no change in what your money can buy. Perhaps less. Someone said to me by NTV Business.